Hello, today we'll be taking a look at getting your images ready for your website. We'll use Squarespace as an example. This is part of our business series and we'll be using Green Turtle, the brand we created here in Assembly from our previous tutorials. A link can be found below. Please don't forget to like and share this video. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is optimize our images for Squarespace. Assembly's standard export size for an image is 4096. We need to reduce this to below 2500. Here is an image I've created. All we need to do is simply swap out our background to this image. And now our export size will be below 2500 at 2048 pixels wide. It doesn't matter what the height is, Squarespace will automatically readjust based on the width of your image. Squarespace's optimum size is 1500, but this will be absolutely fine. Now, let's head over to stickers where I've saved my image. Let's import it in and rescale based on the width of our canvas. Place it right at the top. With our image in place, all we need to do now is go over to the export settings, select PNG and standard and save to our photos. Now, we'll be using some of the iPhone's native functionality to do the next bit. Let's head over to our photos, select our image and select on edit. Let's go to the cropping functionality and reduce the height of our image, removing all the white area. Once we've cropped this image and resaved it, it will automatically change it from a PNG to a JPEG and reduce the file size by more than a half. The final thing we need to do is to rename our image and we can do this right here on our phone or iPad. Simply save it onto your files and you have the ability to rename your image. To make your file names as web friendly as possible, only use lowercase letters, numbers, underscores and hyphens. As you can see, our image is now named correctly, it's optimized and it's the perfect size for Squarespace. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.